Tell us who you play in the movie. You're one of the six guys, but explain. Uh, I play John Tig, uh, Tigan, uh, GRS, uh, ex uh, uh, sergeant in the in the Marines. Um, had extensive experience as a GRS contractor, worked in Iraq, uh, Afghanistan, and several tours in Libya. A family man, lives in Colorado with his wife and two small children, and uh, a salt of the earth guy, great guy. And I play Mark, Ge uh, Mark Geist, Oz, uh, great friends with TIG, also lives in Colorado, former Marine, uh, former GRS operator, and father, husband, all around great guy, badass. <laughs> Did you have the uh, opportunity to speak to the, uh, the the guys you're playing? Both we, of you. We did. We were. I, I was put in touch with Mark uh, pretty much right off the bat. Um, we had numerous conversations. Initially, we just kind of got on the phone. I was in L.A. He was in Colorado, and and uh, got to know each other and see if our personalities meshed, which they did. Um, Talked about fathering, you know, being a husband, and then and then got into the combat uh, experience and, and what it was like for him uh, in combat, which was intense. And, and I'm so incredibly humbled that he shared the amount of information that he did with me. Yeah, very very similar for me. Uh, got to got on the phone with Tig, got to ask him a bunch of questions, and he was very generous with uh, with his time and his his experience. What makes these guys tick? Do you think? You know, um, I think uh, they share a common uh, sort of need to defend their family, their country. The, you know, it's, I, it takes a certain special someone to, to put themselves in the line of fire. And, and uh, you know, like you and I share the, the, the need to tell stories. They share that, that need, and thank God we have people like them in our country. I, I think what makes anyone great at what they do is that they take on things that scare them, that challenge them. Just so happens these guys took on the scariest and most challenging thing a human could, could do, which is to enter a war zone and head toward fire instead of away from it. But, I, you know, I, I can't really tell you what makes them tick. If, if I could, I probably would not be an actor. I'd probably be doing something like what they did. And you know what's interesting is that when you talk to these guys, you, as an actor, you're looking for something, something, you know, that separates them from us. And it's tough to pinpoint, you know, because there's so many, I, like, Mark is, is, a, is a dad, he's got kids, he's, he's got a home in Colorado, a very simple guy, but uh, he uh, is willing to, to leave that behind to ensure that, you know, our kids wake up in a, in a safe and free country. It's, it's, uh, it's incredible. Uh, let's talk about the movie making part. Uh, there's lots of pyro pyrotechnics and I understand that uh, Michael Bay is, likes the real thing. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not CGI. Uh, can you explain, was it, was it, how close were you to the explosions? How, how, how realistic was the situation you were in? Well, I, I can tell you, I, uh, I did a, a stunt where uh, I'm running across the field on my way to join uh, Oz on the tower, and I've got water on my shoulder. The bomb goes off. I make a dive, and literally uh, a chunk of earth is in my face, and I'm swallowing dirt, gasping for air. And I thought, holy cow. I mean, it was about as real as I could possibly make it without actually being hit by a bomb. You're absolutely right. He's interested in, in uh, trying to do the real thing as much as possible. And, that's thrilling. I mean, it's it's intimidating, but it's uh, really rewarding once you've gone through it. Yeah, it's definitely. I've done a few war films, and and this was Saving Private Ryan came close, but this this was uh, a bigger scale, and and uh, it it you know when your adrenaline's going and the explosions are going, they call action, and the rifles are kicking, and you know the, I mean it's as close as we're gonna get to combat. Um, you know, hopefully, hopefully we uh, we did it justice. So, uh, how do you, how do you compare to let's say Michael Bay to to Steven Spielberg? It's a completely different director, and you know one of the great things about being an actor is you get to work with so many different talents, and everybody has something that they bring you know to the table that's different. But 
the, the unique thing about Bay is that he's really involved in every single aspect of filmmaking. He comes at, in as a director, but he's not you know, afraid to pick up a thing of blood and get into the makeup department or move sets and props. And, you know, he really uh, is a multitasker. And when you see his frames in the film, you can see all the layers that he's that he's added to the the, 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 the final product. And, I mean, he's masterful. Yeah. Most amazing energy I've ever been around. Completely infectious uh, enthusiasm for the work. You want to do great work with Michael Bay because he's pushing himself and everyone around him to, to raise their game.